Sarah Jessica Parker hasn't spoken to Chris Knopf since her former on-screen husband was hit with multiple allegations of sexual assault. During an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the 57-year-old actress addressed Knopf being accused of sexual assault as the Sex in the City revival series, and just like that, premiered in December 2021. Quote, I don't even know if I'm ready to talk about it, but I don't think, I wasn't reacting as a producer, I should have worked on this because I'm just, it's just... Parker, who serves as a producer on And Just Like That, told the publication. When asked if she's spoken to Knopf since the allegations surfaced, SGP said no. The Hollywood Reporter initially published a report in which two women accused Knopf of sexual assault. Shortly after, the Daily Beast published another woman's account of Knopf's alleged misconduct. The Good Wife alum has denied all claims. At the time, Parker and her co-star Cynthia Nixon and Kristen Davis released a joint statement on Instagram about the allegations against Knopf. Quote, we are deeply saddened to hear the allegations against Chris Knopf. We support the women who have come forward and shared their painful experiences. We know it must be a very difficult thing to do and we commend them for it. The statement read. Knopf, whose character died in the premiere episode of And Just Like That, was later scrapped from appearing in a cameo during the season one finale after the allegations came to light. Despite the controversy surrounding the reboot, the HBO Max series has been renewed for a season two, and Sarah Jessica recently shared with Access Hollywood how happy she was about the news. More exciting news, and just like that, renewed for season two. Congratulations. What does that mean to you to have such an iconic show, have another season, and what stories do you hope to tell this time around? Oh, I wouldn't know what stories. I mean, that's such a premature question, but um, it's, you know, it's... The relationship with the audience, you know, with Sex and the City and, and, and with and just like that has been you know, obviously the most gratifying part of of a professional experience and in some ways has been the personal, which is just this communication and relationship. So I think that's been, you know, the part that's been so meaningful. And I think, you know, not to just focus back on tonight, but I think that's what's been for us so special and you know, you can't you can't work toward it but the relationship with the audience that we had first starting in boston two years ago at the beautiful colonial theater and now here has just been beyond our wildest expectations i mean you can work really hard and care as much as po i mean you can care as much as you can but you can't convince an audience to come along like that's their choice and it's just been like just well he's been here for the whole ride <laughs> for all of it. yes yeah. and really quick can you tell us